County Louth is the smallest county in Ireland, but despite its small size, it still has plenty to offer its visitors. From historical sites and coastal landscapes to charming towns and outdoor activities, Louth makes for some great time spent with your family and friends. On the Connolly Cove website, we have collated a guide for travelling around the county, providing you with a comprehensive guide to the county's top activities and attractions. And number one is the Monaster Boyce, an early Christian monastic settlement. It is home to an impressive collection of high crosses, including the 5.5 metre Muradax High Cross, which is regarded as one of the most beautiful examples of Celtic art in Ireland. The site is believed to have been founded in the late 5th century or early 6th century, possibly by St. Boethi, who was a follower of St. Patrick. It also homes a well-preserved round tower, which historians believe to have been built as a place of refuge for monastic communities during Viking raids. Explore this ancient portal tomb, called Prolic Dolmen, which dates back to the Neolithic period, around 3000 BC. The impressive capstone is estimated to weigh approximately 40 tons and is one of the most impressive and photogenic dolmens in the country. You can visit this megalithic monument which is located on the grounds of the Ballymascanlan Hotel near Dundalk. Local legends say that anyone who can throw a pebble onto the capstone and make it stay there will be married within the year. Another folklore tale associated with the tomb is that it was carried to Ireland by a Scottish giant. The Proleak Dolmen is a fascinating place to visit for anyone interested in archaeology, history or folklore, offering a tangible connection to Ireland's distant past. Also, County Louth is home to several top quality golf courses, such as the Boltray County Louth Golf Club and the Sea Point Golf Club, offering a challenging yet enjoyable golfing experience. The Boltray Golf Club is renowned for its Championship Links course, which is considered one of the finest in Ireland. The course features 18 challenging holes set amidst natural dunes and undulating terrain, providing a true test of golfing skill and strategy. Ometh is nestled in the beautiful area between Carlingford Lough and Sleeve Foy Mountain, which is part of the Cooley Mountain Range. This scenic location makes Ometh an attractive place for visitors who enjoy outdoor activities and natural beauty. Ometh also hosts several events throughout the year. The Thomas Darcy McGee Summer School is one of the notable annual events that attract visitors from far and wide. The event celebrates the life and works of Thomas Darcy McGee, a local emigrant who became one of the founding fathers of Canada. Stroll through the historic town of Drogheda with your family and visit the attractions such as St. Peter's Church, Millmount Museum and Tower, and the Battle of the Boyne Visitor Centre. You can also stop by the charming cafes and restaurants throughout the town for a tasty bite to eat. Drogheda is home to a wealth of historic landmarks and cultural heritage sites. One of its most famous attractions is the 13th century St. Lawrence's Gate, which is the last surviving gate of the original town walls. Drogheda has a vibrant arts and cultural scene, with numerous galleries, theatres and performance venues showcasing local talent and international works. Dundalk is a lively town in County Louth, with a variety of attractions and activities on offer for its visitors. It is one of Ireland's oldest towns, with a history dating back over 1,000 years. It was originally a Viking settlement and later became an important medieval trading hub due to its strategic location on the Castletown River and its proximity to the Irish Sea. Dundalk boasts a rich cultural heritage and numerous historic landmarks. One of its most famous attractions is the Dundalk Jail, a former prison dating back to the 19th century that is now open to the public as a museum. Some notable attractions and worthwhile visits in Dundalk include the St. Patrick's Church, the County Museum Dundalk and the Ice House Hill Park. This park is one of Dundalk's most popular green spaces. It offers stunning views of the town and the surrounding countryside from the top of the hill and you can idly stroll alongside the duck pond, observing the inhabiting wildlife. Dundalk Stadium is a popular venue for greyhound racing and horse racing. It's a great place to experience the excitement and thrill of racing, and with an on-site bar and restaurant, you'll be sure to have a great time. It offers modern facilities for visitors, including grandstands, hospitality suites, bars, restaurants, and betting facilities. It provides a comfortable and enjoyable environment for racegoers to watch the action and socialize with friends and family. This picturesque walking trail follows the Castletown River and offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the town centre. Feel surrounded by the idyllic rural surroundings and watch as nature comes to life. 
You don't need a large budget to spend some time enjoying what Louth has to offer. Discover the rich history of the Boyne Valley, which is home to ancient sites such as Newgrange, Noth and Douth, as well as the Hill of Tara and the Battle of the Boyne site. The Boyne Valley is steeped in history and is home to some of Ireland's most important archaeological and historical sites. It is best known for the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Boyne Valley Tombs, which includes the ancient passage tombs of Newgrange, Noth and Douth. These Neolithic monuments date back over 5,000 years, making them older than Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids. The Boyne Valley is not only rich in history, but also boasts stunning natural scenery. The River Boyne winds its way through lush green countryside, dotted with rolling hills, meandering streams and picturesque villages. Visitors can enjoy scenic walks, cycling trails and boat trips along the river. Explore the ruins of the Mellifont Abbey, a 12th century Cistercian Abbey, which was the first of its kind in Ireland. Mellifont Abbey also features a unique octagonal lavabo where the monks once washed their hands. At one point, the abbey was home to over 400 monks and today it remains a relic of the county's ancient history. Our last recommendation is going to Carlingford, a picturesque town in County Louth, with lots on offer for its visitors. Carlingford has a rich history dating back over a thousand years. The village was originally founded by the Vikings in the 9th century and later became an important medieval trading port due to its strategic location. The medieval town is nestled between Carlingford Lough and the Cooley Mountains, offering views of the stunning natural scenery. Carlingford boasts a vibrant dining scene with a variety of restaurants, cafes and pubs serving delicious seafood, traditional Irish cuisine and international fare. The village is also home to a selection of boutique shops, craft galleries and artisan producers selling locally made products. Carlingford is home to several historic landmarks and heritage sites, including King John's Castle, a medieval fortress built by King John of England in the 12th century. Other notable attractions include the Holy Trinity Heritage Centre, the remains of a Dominican friary, and the Tholsal, a 15th century town gate and toll house. Overall, Carlingford is a picturesque village with a rich history, stunning scenery, and plenty of opportunities for outdoor adventure and relaxation. If you want to explore more of Irish culture, visit us on ConnollyCove.com. Thank you for watching the video.